Hello, and welcome to Half-Baked Documentaries. Uh, the topic of today's program is cats. Uh, you know, you love them, you know them, you see them every day, they're cute, uh, they're renowned electricians, well-known for their violent gangs of neo-Nazis, uh, very good at doing the whole slow-motion jump-on-the-trampoline thingy from, you know, every TV show ever. But you already know all that. That's that's not why we're here today. Today we are going to go around the tree, make two loops, and down the rabbit hole of the dark history of cats. In the beginning, there was the Kwisatz Cataract, who through immaculate conception birthed the rainbow aura kittens and sent them to Earth, where they landed in ancient Egypt. Where they were well known for their sense of style, their bling bling, and their ability to get down with the boogie woogie hip hop dance. But soon, their relationships with the humans would go sour like a day old bowl of milk. It is a well known fact that all cats were indeed bald at one point. That is, until the Egyptians, world famous geneticists, uh, decided hey, that's not good enough, let's put a human head on them. And so the, the Sphinx was born, and they're not so common nowadays. You still find them in some, you know, niche fetish circles. But not a lot of history exists between then and now on your everyday, ordinary house cat. We do know that they were often sold to the dogs uh, as slave labor, and they were often forced to work in brothels, and... And one day, they they decided they had had enough. It was time to go to war with the humans. The cat-human war lasted for many decades, starting in 1850, which, for you history buffs, is around the time the Christians declared themselves the butthole police. For the first 30 years, the war went in the cat's favor. Then, the tides were turned. The humans fought back, and they fought back hard. They began to bomb fisheries and cardboard boxes. They had already kind of caught on to the, to the cat's plan of bombing Walmarts, so they were safe for a while, until the Japanese infantry showed up and saved them, saved the day. They were just about to win the war. They were almost eradicated us. But then the winds of change blew us. The year is 1902. Albert Hofmiao invents Happy Fun Time paper, aka LSD. This sparks an unprecedented social revolution among cats everywhere. All across the world you had uh, cat protesters holding up signs that said things like, Make canned tuna, not war. And so it came to pass that the protesters ended the war through uh, protesting and shit. After the war, massive social reforms began to take place. Uh, cats had rights. They were able to live fulfilling lives. Um, they even allowed cat marriage now. They would eventually lose the ability to speak and be left only with their base instincts of knocking shit over and staring at you while you're on the toilet. And there was peace among them and the humans. They eventually made humans their slaves, and they're happy. Or are they? Are they? Okay, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Twitter at whatever that says at the bottom of the title. And, um, you know, like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Uh, we'll see you all next time on Half-Baked Documentaries.